Hey guys, so now that I have my face all cleaned off with all the cleanser, you know, sometimes the, the hot face cloth doesn't always get everything. And it's very important as well to use, to get that all off because it could clog your pores despite it trying to help. So what we use next is a toner. So for me, I just buy these little pads. Little pads like this. And my toner, like toner can come in different types of bottles. Like some come just in a bottle where you have to like dab it on the pad. Or the one that I get is uh, it's just in a little spritzer bottle. So it'll and you know, and then I just spray it on the pad. So what's very important with toners is a lot of companies put alcohol in their toners and you don't want that. Alcohol is horrible for your skin. Honestly, it, it, it's just, it, it makes your skin worse because you're taking off so much oil off your skin that it makes your skin produce like six times the amount of oil. So it's just making your skin worse. And what's also great about toners is that they restore the pH balance in your skin. And in order to have healthy skin, you have to maintain a normal pH balance. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and just give it a couple sprays on my little pad. And I'm just going to go over my whole face. So this is going to help get rid of any, you know, any makeup that could be still in my pores. This will help get rid of any of the cleanser that could be on my skin. Anything. So it's really great. So and the one that I'm using is a tea tree, tea tree one. So tea tree oil, it's a tea tree oil, but it's a tea tree water instead because tea tree oil is a little bit too harsh for your skin. And a tea tree water is a little bit more dilute but it does the same. Um, tea tree oil is great for if you have oily skin because it really helps like get rid of the oils. If you have more dry skin I suggest using a rose water because rose water is really great because it's not it's really not going to dry out your skin a little bit like where the tea tree will dry out your skin a little bit but for me it's not a bad thing because I have quite oily skin. All right so I think I got about everything. So, and you want to, you know, just be easy when you're rubbing around your eyes, especially, because if you don't want to get wrinkles around your eyes, you got to be easy. So then my last step to my three-step program is a moisturizer. Now, there are millions of moisturizers out there, and I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and people try many different things, you know, but you ha it all comes down to the ingredients. You really don't want your moisturizer to be really, like, clog your pores. You want something that's going to be very natural and light on your skin. At nighttime, you would want to use a thicker moisturizer, but during the day, you just want to use a light one. So I'm using one from Lush as well, and it's called Imperials, and it's all made out of natural products. You know, it smells great, and it's just, it's pretty much like lavender. It's, uh, it's wonderful. So, and you don't want to use too much on your face. I usually just, because the moisturizer is really great, like it really spreads out. Like I just put a little dab, and it covers like one section of my face, which I think is great. You know, you also, you can buy um, moisturizers that are specifically for your eyes, which I suggest. But for me, you know, I'm still young. I really don't need any moisturizers that are specifically for my eyes because, you know, I don't have wrinkles yet. But, you know, maybe when I was, like, 20, when I started getting 20, I would start being concerned with that because, you know, I, I find guys age faster than a lot of people. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so yeah, and I'm just doing a light coat because I don't want too much, but just enough to kind of create a barrier between my foundation and my face, which is great. And it just keeps the hydration there because sometimes if you use a powder, it can be quite drying on your face. But yeah, so that is my three-step program. So I use my cleanser, which is a clay, a clay cleanser with a little bit of exfoliant in it, my tea tree water toner to help remove anything that's left on my skin and restore the pH balance back to my skin, and a lavender moisturizer, which smells great and is very light on my skin, and it's just enough that I need to help protect my skin throughout the day. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be doing a lot more on skincare and doing specific, kind of specific things for different types of skin types and what would work best. Anyway, guys, send me over some questions if you have any. Love to hear your comments. Talk to you soon.